Good morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes, an Air Force nun. Silenzio. 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 This morning, we're gonna work on that. See that thing? That is an electric space heater. It's got a blower, it's got electric elements, it's got thermal discs, you know, as limits, and it's not blowing hot anymore. Why? Because it's broken. Air Force None. Do you also know what's broken? No idea. That buffoon at Jackson Systems who picked up the phone this morning and started oh. laughing at me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This buffoon at Jackson Systems started laughing at me because he thought I was funny. Now, granted, I could be funny. But let me tell you something, if you're listening, Jackson Systems. For the second time, I ordered Honeywell three-zone switching relays. And in the first order, I ordered only exclusively because you guys custom imprint the customer's name on the, you know, the client's name. So Pipe Doctor and my phone number should be on the damn zone relay panel. But it wasn't. And I called and complained. And they said, oh, we're so sorry. Next time you order, we'll make sure it's there. So I used up the, the, the order that I placed, you know, just recently, and I placed another order. And it comes in again without the damn imprint. Well, this is where it gets bad. This is where it gets, you know. This is where things get wrecked. I call, hey, I received my order. Here's my order number. And I guess it's not imprinted. It goes, ha, 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 I'm like, huh? Something funny? He goes, oh, it's not, you can't imprint those. I'm like, it says it on your website. He goes, no, it doesn't. I was like, go to the item. It says it, custom imprint. He goes, oh, yeah. Did you put a note in the memo field? I'm like, yes. I'm like, it wasn't there. I was like, well, I guess there's a glitch in the system. I will never, ever, ever order again from Jackson Systems. Mark my word. Unless the owner and management reaches out to me and makes so let's it Let's take right. a look at this thing. It's by King. See that? King. So we got new parts for this thing. Took about a month to get, but we got them. We're going to hop up here. Well, maybe not. <laughs> We're gonna get up there and fix right. this thing. Practicing best safety procedures. We have a U-line capacity one person. So Chris, Air Force None, you can't you can't join me. Oh. Someone commented, are you my fake son or real son? I don't know, but I'm... I don't know, I should have been black though. Yeah. <laughs> Your mother! Unfortunately for you, real enough to get you to pay child support. I know, well no, you're not a child anymore. Not anymore. All right, we have one, two, three, four, four heating elements, which we're gonna take out. I already removed, we disconnected the power. It's locked out at the, at the circuit breaker. Disconnected the wiring going to the two contactors right here. And now we're going to slowly remove these one by one and replace them with the wire there. Let's take a look at this element. Yeah, not too shabby. All right, so we are going to measure resistance. Yep, let's see what we have. What do we got? Ten, uh, ten and a half. All right, let's check the new one. The manufacturer, King, is saying that... Fort Wow. Oh, oh wait, wait, no. Uh, ten and a half. Wow. Oh, oh interesting. Mm -hmm. But they're saying that the elements are bad. But... There's a little bit of background on this, and allow me to explain. January 20th, 9.20 in the morning, I emailed them. Need technical support for this model. Zero maintenance done since install. Remove very dirty filters. Units are using 40 amps of power per line, but heating minimally. The online manual for this model does not give enough information to troubleshoot. And that was after being on hold for 45 minutes with king manufacturing in i think they're in seattle washington right yeah, that makes sense. so i get an email back from randall right and it goes something like this okay this mat this needs maintenance if it is not then dirt will slow motor and prevent airflow if filters are dirty so you will need to have it inspected to see if anything was damaged as a result of improper maintenance so you will need to reach out to an hvac technician that's me <laughs> and have them service your unit for inspection. We do not have text or service. We will send parts that have been affected under warranty. 
So you will have my email after electrician has looked at your heater. Have then email me with that with what parts need replacing. And if you're within five year warranty period, so I will ship then I will ship them. Ship the parts needed to you and for the electrician to install. Just confirm your shipping address for me to have your parts. So I'm reading this this email, right? It basically sounds like I'm talking to a call center in India. Oh, you hundred right, hundred percent, right? And it gets better. No. So I email him back, right? And this is now we're at 10, 19 in the morning. So not even an hour later, right? And I go, I am the HVAC, HVAC technician. Can you send me the service manual or any available tech documents, right? No and he goes, problems. here you go. <laughs> but they did. <laughs> and so I get this. And I, the email I sent him again is, I already have this. Do you have a troubleshooting chart? My legs of power are pulling 40 amps each. I'm basically telling him, listen, it's drawing 40 amps of power each line. So where's the power going, right? And, but it's not heating like it used to. And I go, the air is warmish, not how like it used to be, right? So then he goes, no, this is standard for all HVAC techs to troubleshoot like you would for any other furnace. Looking at limit switches, relays, contacts, transformer, load thermostat intake. Uh, again, I'm just getting like horrible, horrible. You know what like, it sounds like to me? It's like they've got like this printed up script that they have to pull up. Yeah. And if it's like, if it's anywhere close to what you're asking for, they'll just... I know, but it, it gets a little bit more. Because uh, now he goes, clients wouldn't normally, wouldn't normally know, electrician would have to check to see if anything was damaged because the annual maintenance wasn't performed per install sheet. This should have caused, this could have caused damage, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, what the hell? It's like this guy, like I just... And now I'm just basically just frustrated. Frustrated because we just... Listen, we're taking these things out, right? Let's see. But there's nothing wrong with them. Right? There's really nothing wrong with them. But now I'm frustrated with this guy, Randall. And I'm going I'm to give him a piece oh, of Randall. my mind. Now, look, it's 11.40 in the morning. All right? Randall, no disrespect intended, but I'm the owner of and da 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 I'm license master plumber, and da 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 here in New York. One on site, I'm on 45 minutes, da-da-da. Mutual con... da 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 And look, I keep going on and on and on. And I was like, why is it so difficult to obtain technical support from your company? I need assistance to get this client system running like they used to. It would be great to get their systems running. I video documented and posted all on my YouTube channel with a fairly large following. If you read the email chain, you are going back and forth between calling an HVAC company and now calling an electrician, awaiting your reply, right? So now Randall's like probably got his panties in a bunch, right? And he goes, I'm calling after this last caller. It's winter here. It's winter it's winter wear doing our best considering. Like wear, W-H-E-R-E. This, this is who you got as your face of your tech support king. No bueno. And look, we have good elements. All right. One, two, three, four elements replaced with four high plenum limits also replaced. The wire's back. This goes to this transformer. These two go to the contactors, and the breakers are back on. Let's run power on and All right. snap. Nothing? How about now? Not getting red. No, they lit up. Because airflow. Because you had airflow. You didn't have no airflow before. Oh, I see you get red. Do you? Yep, top right. Oh, yeah. Uh, All right. Let's use the HIK Vision B20. And look at that. Pretty cool, huh? Special shout out to HIK, I say HIK Vision, HIK Micro, a sponsor of the channel. Thank you so much for sending us the B20 for product review. Look at that. It looks nice, nice. It looks nice, nice. Very nice. Right? And what's really nice about the HIK Micro, not only was it free, right? But it conveniently fits in my Vito TPXXL tool bag. And I put it in right here. Right, check that out, Wayne. Wayne from Connecticut. It fits right in there. See, beautiful, 
Vito. TPXXL. Well, sure enough, Randall was right. He needed new elements. No idea why. The resistance across the coils are the same. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. It's drawing the same out of amperage. I don't know. So I defer to you guys, the community, with these electric... Whoever has experience working with these things. The manufacturer told me that they, I needed to replace the elements and the high temperature limit plenum sensors. And sure enough, it worked. <laughs> but I don't know why. Let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. Tell me why, guys. Tell me why it works now. Tell me, tell me why. Tell me, sweet little why. Tell me why. Tell, tell, tell me why. Are you still thirsty? I'm very, th I'm go, very parched. Go, go grab your drink. Okay.